Hey everyone, Total Power 2 here. Today I'll be doing a review on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch, so let's get into it. Now, uh, here is the case for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It says Nintendo Switch. Then you see Bowser, Peach, Mario Racing side by side. And then here it shows all the back, how all the features back here and everything, all that good stuff. Then inside, this is probably the most interesting in interesting. Um, one out of all of them, like, and I mean that inside the case wise controller guide, then it says L to shoot your, uh, ex shoot your accessory or whatever, then use that to go set to side, B to go back, A to go forward, then R to drift, then you can use the wheels, then it shows the controller right there, and then of course the cartridge right here. Snap that out and then put it in here. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna be going over everything you have to do or can do in here. So, Mario Kart And I really like this game, and I do give it a 10 out of 10. I just wanted to start off by saying that. Here you have Grand Prix, Time Trials, Versus Race, Battle. Battle is, of course, um, you choose a character. I'm going to go with Kamek. Choose your ride and stuff. Then you choose Balloon, ba balloon Battle, which uh, you throw a shell or whatever you have, or like a bomb or something, or a red shell or blue shell with spikes at your opponent to pop their balloons. Whoever does it to the most players wins. Renegade Roundup, obviously, this is basically just cops and robbers. Uh, but Mario Kart form, the Piranha Plants, you are the police officers. The ones with the flags are the ones you have to catch. And in the center of the map, uh, you have to go on a blue or red button, depending, depending on what color your team is. Uh, and you can free yourself. And if not, then the other team wins. Uh, so and so you switch. From cops and robbers in every round or most of it for the most part bomb blast uh, obviously is what it sounds like you throw bombs at each other until the final person until the most person that has took the most balloons from the other player wins coin runners you collect the most coins I think it's I'm not maybe it's about 30 coins or something like that is the max you get three rows of coins next to next to each other and you get a crown whenever you're in first place. Same thing for all the other ones. And then Shine Thief, of course, you steal the shine from player to player. The last one to have it wins. Random battle, you choose uh, anything out of the five I just mentioned, and it or the game will choose it for you. Uh, you can select teams, normal items or not. How long you want it to go for? The max is five minutes. Uh, normal com, hard com, all vehicles. Or carts only, bikes only, all vehicles, or yeah, carts only. Choose your team in order, courses random, round count. You have up to 24 rounds you can choose from. Uh, let me see here. Versus race, you race someone, but uh, it's just like an invisible version of themselves, if that makes any sense. Or like you're racing against someone. But they're kind of like in ghost form, if that makes any sense. Time trials, see how fast you are. Then Grand Prix, 50cc, which is low speed fun for everyone. 100cc, picking up speed. High speed thrills for 150. Mirror, you're going the opposite direction, as it says. Uh, crazy fast braking is crucial. Like, drifting is really crucial, I feel like, is what they should have put for this one. Uh, I feel like 200cc is the funnest one out of all of them. Uh, or is the most fun out of all of them. Then here you have 50 CC. I got I also got the booster courses, which that's really cool. Uh, three stars on that, and then uh, same thing for this one. Got three stars of both of them. I'm still working on getting three stars for 150. I've only done it for the three out of the rest of the booster courses. For me, I haven't got any uh, 200 CC for only for the uh, basic levels that come with the game. Uh, got those. So let's go to 100 CC. Gonna go with Bowser Jr., my favorite character in the Mario franchise. Then I'm gonna choose the clown car. 
And then I feel like these go pretty perfect with it. Then I'm also going to choose, okay, there's this glider, super glider. And then here are the DLC levels, the booster course levels, I mean. Uh, now you do have to pay $25 and they do charge a little bit more of that at tax. Around about $27 or $28 including tax and all the final um, taxes to it. So about $27 or $28 you're going to have to pay for these. And it is definitely worth the money. You have Paris Promade from Tor, uh, from the 3DS Toad Circuit. Uh, Chaco Mountain and Nintendo 64 Wii Coconut Mall. Then here you have Tokyo Blur. Shroom Ridge, Sky Garden, Ninja Hideo Hideaway, New York Minute, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Mario Kart, Mario Circuit 3, Calamari Desert, Waluigi Pinball, Sydney Sprint, Snowland, Mushroom Gorge, uh, Sky High Sunday, London Loop, Boo Lake, Rock Rock Mountain, Maple Treeway, Berlin Byways, Peach Gardens, Merry Mountain, Rainbow Road, I love Rainbow Road, and especially the Christmas themed ones, like, I never knew we got, a, like, a Christmas-centered one, Amsterdam Drift, Riverside Park, DK Summit, Yoshi's Island, Bang Bangkok Rush, Bangkok or whatever, uh, Mario Circuit, Waluigi Stadium, Singapore Speedway, Athens Dash, Daisy Cruiser, Moonview Highway, Squeaky Clean Sprint. Los Angeles Laps, Sunset Wilds, Koopa Cape, Vancouver Velocity, Rome Avanti, DK Mountain, Daisy Circuit, which is a Daisy Luigi centered course. Well, it seems that way pretty much. Piranha Plant Cove, yeah. Matted Drive, Rosalina's Ice World, Bowser Castle 3, and another Rainbow Road. I really do, I really feel like these 12 levels are a lot, or sorry, 12, um, Courses to choose from are a lot better, um, or the 12 trophies, I mean, a lot better than these other ones. So, Mario Kart Stadium, Water Park, Sweet Sweet Canyon, Thwomp Runes, Mario Circuit, Toad Harbor, Twisted Mansion, Shy Guy Falls, Sunshine Airport, Dolphin Shows, Electrodome, Mount Wario, Cloud Top Cruise, Bone Dry Dunes, Bowser's Castle, Rainbow Road, Yoshi's Circuit, Ex 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 Excite Bike, Air Arena, uh, Dragon Drift Away, Mute City, Baby Park, Cheeseland, Wild Woods, Animal Crossing, whoops, Exabyte Arena, sorry. Moo Moo Meadows, Mario Circuit, Cheap Cheap Beach, Toad's Turnpike, Dry Dry Desert, Donut Plains 3, Royal Raceway, DK, DK Jungle, Wario Stadium, Sherbert Land, Music Park, Yoshi Valley, Tick Tock Clock, Piranha Plant Slide, Grumble Volcano, Rainbow Road, I think a lot of Rainbow Roads, and uh, I'm really, I really like the Christmas or like ice or winter themed ones, those are my favorite. Wario's Gold Mine, Rainbow Road, Ice Ice Outpost, Hyrule Circuit, Neo Bowser City, Ribbon Road, Super Bell Subway, and Big Blue. And that's all the levels. Um, oops. Uh, so yeah, I think that's everything I have to cover about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, and thank you for watching.